Good day to you. My name is Maria Kongelska and you're watching Poland Daily Culture. And we'll talk today more about a place called Medjugorje. Have you ever visited? Do you know where it is? To all those questions we'll answer today uh, Paulina Adamek. Paulina, thank you very much for showing up. Thank you. Uh, pleasure is mine to, to be here. Paulina, uh, we talked in the previous episodes about your books because you have two books coming, The Time of Dialogue and The Time of Grace, about your relationship with God. In the previous episode, we talked also a little bit about uh, your pilgrimage and your travel to Jerusalem, um, which and going uh, through the steps of Jesus Christ, Via Dolorosa, uh, seeing the places where he, he prayed, where he was crucified, and you mentioned that it made a huge impression on you. But you also experienced something different, because for Christians, or especially for Catholics right now, there is a unique place in the world, and it's called Medjugorje. It, it is in um, Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, in the middle of uh, nothing, I would say. <laughs> there are mountains, there in are the small... mountains. Yeah. yeah, exactly, but a very place full of light, surrounded by light, surrounded by two mountains. And in the in the center, uh, there is a village where Virgin Mary comes to five people. They, she started to appear to them when they were children. Right now, they are already adults, but she didn't stop. She, uh, But it became a place of, of travels and of uh, huge prayers and pilgrimage of people from all over the world and including, of course, Poles. And you were one of those lucky ones to visit. They say that you don't come to Medjugorje yourself, but you have to be invited by Virgin Mary. So you somehow called this her invitation, invitation and you came there. Uh, how did you experience this place? Well, at first I have heard a lot of uh, Medjugorje and from my friends, for, from my uh, communities. And I was wondering how it is uh, to to feel this uh, peace in in your heart because they were describing that there is a peace. During my uh, interviews, uh, I met uh, Martin Kwasne, and he described uh, how it is to to God to love, and he gave a huge testimony. Uh, of him and he was describing about some special uh, experiences. For example, his tissue was smelling roses and it was surprising for, uh, for him. Well, in 2021, I joined the uh, community Krulova Pokoju and I have a chance to, uh, to go to the pilgrimage and also my dreams uh, came true. Uh, it comes about my prayer on the rosary. It was a tough one. Uh, uh, well, rosary, after all, it seems boring, isn't it? Like, because you have to say yes. those, our father one time and then 10 times Hail Mary. Um, which seems like, what's the point? Why, why I don't, I shouldn't I just say once? Hail Mary, and then that's enough. But it seems like it kind of brings you to sort of um, a stronger relationship with Virgin Mary, that you're repeating yes. it, that you're going through uh, different uh, stages of the life of Jesus Christ, but also life of Virgin Mary. And you're somehow connecting with them, you're going through this, and but with your own experience and with your own thoughts. This is something like this, which you go through praying yes, on? Yes, my prayer became uh, even deeper because I found out that praying on the rosary is not as boring as I thought it is. Spending time, it's for about half an hour uh, for this uh, kind of uh, prayer, calms you down. It allows you to uh, contemplate about your uh, your faith, uh, your uh, sins also, and you can just uh, find how to uh, be even better and which steps do you have to, to take to follow uh, if you want to, uh, your relation got even deeper. So it is a special kind of tool, let's say, for, uh, 
for those making, people who, yeah. who believe on how want to make a deeper relationship. Yeah, exactly. So we're putting a point here and we're inviting all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture. Maybe it is also an invitation just for you exactly to take for the very for the first time a rosary in your hand and try to go through those prayers. Five all uh, our fathers and 50 Hail Marys, which may change your life and your daily life as well. So this is an invitation to you. And of course, we invite you also to visit this wonderful place called Medjugorje, because it might also change your life. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.